Hello guys and gals, welcome to one ahead of smartphones tutorial videos on the Samsung Galaxy S9. In this video I'll be showing you guys how to do a factory reset on the S9. So if you guys find this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody who is looking for this information, please do share it with them. So just to start off here, I'm, I'm going to be showing you guys that this um, phone does have you know a different background, has a passcode set, everything like that. So once you are in your device, what you're going to want to do to factory reset is go to settings. Uh, from settings, go ahead and scroll down till you find about phone. From about phone, scroll down till it says looking for something else. Go ahead and select reset. From here, scroll down to the third option is the factory data reset. From here, it's, gonna, it's telling you that um, all your data on your phone will be removed. Um, any kind of Google accounts, any kind of systems, apps, uh, music, pictures, contacts, messages, everything that's on there will be cleared and everything will be reset back to its factory settings. So before doing this, I would strongly recommend backing up all your information or saving it. Now, once you have that done, you can go ahead and hit reset. From here, it's gonna ask me to validate my um, password one more time that I had set. So just like that, I validate that just so somebody else doesn't reset your information for you. Um, and then from here, it's gonna ask to delete everything. And just like this, it's turning down, shutting down, removing all the information off of there. Uh, so, so just give it some time. Once it does power up, start up, um, it should take you to the startup wizard or the startup page that you will get when you receive a brand new um, Android device. So there was an erasing screen, it kind of erased for a little bit. Um, now it's kind of starting up its boot up process, taking us, gonna probably be taking us through the startup wizard. Um, we are already on the hello screen. Taking a few seconds here to upload some of the Verizon information, some of the Verizon data. So usually when I clear my phones, I'm usually going to be sending them off, selling them. So when, you, when you're going back through the startup wizard, make sure that you're not signing into any of your accounts. So if it's going to ask you for a Google account, anything like that, I just say skip it next. I don't set any kind of passwords. I don't leave any kind of personal information behind just so that way it's clear for the next user and they could set it up the way they would want to. So now that, that Verizon portion is done, it's starting up the Android. It was just kind of getting some of its the Verizon software onto the phone. So just like that, we are on the startup page. So let's go ahead and do that. Start English terms and conditions. Agree to those. I'm gonna be using my Wi-Fi. I'm gonna hit next, and I'm gonna go ahead get into my Wi-Fi. Just like that, I've typed in my password. I'm gonna go ahead and select connect, and it should connect us, and it should continue on with the process. Just like that, I've been connected. I'm gonna be hitting next, continue on to the next screen. Now it's checking for updates. If there are any available updates, it will update in. Just like that, there were no updates. It continues on. Uh, this is the Google page that I was telling you guys. Any information, I just go ahead and skip over. Um, are you sure you want to skip it? Yes. If you want, if you're intentionally leaving this information blank, um, I'm just gonna go hit next. The time at this point does not really matter, um, and it's asking us for phone protection. I'm gonna hit no, thank you, and I'm gonna be skip it. Are you sure you want to skip? Yes. As we continue on, more terms and um, terms and condition agreements that we have to accept in order to start up your device, and now it's adding the finishing touches. Just like that, it's asking us for another email, or asking us for email information. I'm gonna go ahead and hit skip. Skip all of this, um, personalizing your phone. All this stuff is gonna be um, done by the new buyer. If you are setting it up, if you are resetting it because you had some kind of malfunction on your device, I would recommend putting your information back in. But just like that, there you guys have it. That factory reset cleared everything. Um, you guys were able to see the password is no longer there. It takes us right into it just with the swipe. The background has been changed back to the factory factory one that was set there previously. So there you guys have it. That is a factory reset on the Samsung Galaxy S9. Hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody who is looking for this information, please do share it with them. And if you guys like to see other helpful tips and tricks on the Galaxy S9, be sure to check out that playlist in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day.